No one shoot that barrel. Which I'm one? On the terminal. Bloody. <laughs> 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 I was trying so hard to quickly get away. I was trying to throw that run, and the second I put it down, dude. I am so late to the party. I fully recognize that. I was sick all last week, was traveling for a wedding, and only just recently got around to playing enough to have my bearings, but my god, I'm having so much fun with Helldivers 2. Today we're taking a look at why this thing is absolutely taking off and how you should probably try this out if it sounds up your alley. So do me a favor, I don't usually push for this kind of stuff, but if you enjoy this, this game, this review, the gameplay moments later on in the video, do me the biggest favor and hit that like button to let me know if you guys would like to see more. Frankly, I'd love to make more stuff like this, but I understand if it's not exactly what the audience at large may want. So if that's the case, I'll probably toss more stuff up on my second channel and get that going again. But let me know. That's really all I'm asking here for this one. And of course, if you do like to see more, you're new, consider subscribing for more reviews and such. But anyways, let's get into it. Helldivers 2 by Arrowhead Game Studios has taken off, reaching its all-time peak earlier yesterday with just over 450,000 concurrent players on Steam alone. But you have to note this is also being pushed heavy on PlayStation station as well. Now, bummer it's not on Xbox, but Sony's gonna Sony. But anyways, with over 1 million in game sales in the first three days of release reported, and probably a ton more since then, Helldivers 2 is the sequel to 2015's Helldivers of a very similar gameplay world and universe. But this time around, it's a third-person shooter with toggles for first, instead of being a top-down co-op shooter, which for me, I love that. Top downs absolutely have their place, they're great, but for me, I just personally prefer something a little more in the action, like a first or third person perspective. You, as a citizen of Super Earth, are tasked with liberating worlds in the galactic war from alien and robotic foreign threats, spreading all that democracy wide and far, spreading it like it's nobody's business. Now, while this game is technically classified as a AAA game, not only one does it boast a lower price point than other AAA games you may be seeing on the market, coming in at only $40 as opposed to $70, but the entire attitude to the game, the studio behind it, it's just, it's refreshing to the gaming scene at large lately. So let's talk about why and what this game really is once you jump in. The gameplay premise, it's kind of a PvE extraction shooter, but the emphasis on PvE. It's a co-op game, so you can end up going in with upwards of four players, but there's varying levels of difficulty for what you have to do. Higher difficulty, of course, gives some higher payout and better rewards, but the gameplay loop at its core is Pretty dang simple. You go in, spread some democracy, which means just completing missions or doing various number of challenges, exploring the world if you guys would like, killing a bunch of alien bugs and robots, then extracting and collecting your XP and such. It's very, very simple, but to me, that's kind of the beauty of it. There's a ton of things you can do because the reward yields versus cost on items are kind of high, but at the same time, like you're never feeling like you're not progressing really, which is the nice part. You have various different guns and weaponry and armor and stuff that you can end up taking in. There's stratagems, which are essentially what you can call in and help you and your squad out. From Emma Reserve backpacks, the sentry guns to full-blown nukes, there's a lot of stuff here. Not to mention there's friendly fire on, so it can either be pure or perhaps controlled chaos, depending on how you want to go about this. Again, the higher levels of difficulty, that's where it gets just super chaotic. But yeah, you start to work your way up to that all kinds of stuff. In the game, there's a bunch of stuff like ship customization. You can name your ship. You can end up customizing your ship and having friends come over to it. There's Helldiver customization, which is like your armor, helmets, capes, stuff like that. You have a battle pass, both free and paid. There's a shop, though. Nothing really is super noteworthy to me. And honestly, I don't care about in-game shops like at all. So that's that's probably the least of my focus here at this, but the thing that I will say overall in terms of the gameplay experience itself is that it is much, much better with a group of people. The game is certainly playable solo, but I think that you'll have a much better and easier time for that matter playing with a squad of players. The difficulty of things, obviously, as it goes up, naturally it'll be harder, but a lot of the stuff is really helpful in terms of co-op play. Having teammates to call in things that can help you and your squad out as a whole, rather than just relying on yourself and having to end up getting certain things that may not have as quick a cooldown as you may need. Maybe you called in an artillery barrage or something like that, and it's not quite ready to be called in just yet, but your teammate or squad mate may have something they can use. They can put the hordes of robots or alien bugs to the way side in the meantime. So there's a lot of stuff here that is definitely cool. The game itself, very simple, but very fun and very addictive. Now, what I will say is that right now the game is 
far exceeding expectations. As we mentioned, half a million players nearly on PC alone, and that's surely taken a hit on the game's servers, with the official accounts and accounts of devs even expressing their apologies for the issues. The official account tweeting, despite our best efforts to increase server capacity to accommodate all of you who want to dive in for freedom, we are experiencing capacity issues. We are once more working without delay to improve the issue, and we hope to have a fix in place as soon as possible. Thank you. Now, since then, a fix has been deployed, but not fixing the problem altogether. But like we talked about how this felt like a kind of refreshing change of pace in the AAA game space. I mean, the CEO at Arrowhead has been chill through the entire launch, just making it kind of seem like the game was made by your friends for you and your friends. But even he encouraged players looking to jump in in a way that I'm sure a lot of people would not expect from a conventional studio executive. He said to somebody that was talking about, oh, you guys are making me want to jump in and buy Helldivers 2. He replied to them, if you have no cash, get it later. While we made a really fun game, it's worth waiting until the servers can support the capacity. I mean, as a CEO, I of course want the game to be as profitable as possible, but if you spent your last money and got stuck in server queues, I'd be heartbroken. So like, who, who says that kind of stuff in game dev that we know right now, again, has like a AAA space that's just predominantly like corporations just trying to min-max all of their cash in as little bit of time as possible. That is so refreshing to me. It's just, it feels so real. It's one of many engagements that he and other devs have had that just make this game, again, feel refreshing. So on that in particular, last night upon playing I'd wager I was in a server queue for like 45 minutes or so, but I've also seen instant logins. I've seen super long queues. So it's really hard to say, but you'll probably notice that at least in particular. But beyond that, honestly, it's a refreshing experience. And honestly, I didn't see too many issues. The game beyond that is pretty dang stable from my experiences at least and as a whole it's cool to see that it doesn't take itself too seriously it's fun a simple gameplay loop there's tons to work towards and honestly it's just a solid experience the biggest factor for me though something that I cannot say about a lot of games lately is that I had so much fun like when's the last time you heard an intro here on the channel where I'm like guys I'm having a ton of fun I enjoy COD for example but I haven't had unbridled fun like this in a long time I was hurting from laughing so much. I'll say that. That's probably a combination of the game itself, the people I was playing with, and the scenarios we were crafting up, but dang, did it feel good. But yeah, anyways, if you guys have money to spare, you're looking for a good old fun game, I think this is it. And that's probably what I would attribute to why this game is just blowing up. It's just a simple masterpiece at that. I think you'll have a good time if you guys want to jump in, personally speaking at least, but that's what we're going to call it. So let me know your thoughts down below. I'm going to leave you with something that I kind of want to do a bit more of here, either here on the main channel or over on the second channel, just sharing gameplay moments like this and kind of just having some stuff that isn't news and information. But let me know your thoughts and drop a like down below. If you guys want to see more here, hit that like button. But yeah, subscribe also for more FPS content reviews, perhaps even more Helldivers content. But until next time, I'll see you later. And for now, enjoy the rest of the clips here. All right, opening the silo now. What if we jump in it? Oh no, it says 24%. So I'm gonna assume it's probably Top not right a good days, idea. There's a bar there. that's rising up. Yeah, or I can just look at the computer, Lazy. But <laughs> Did you go in the... <laughs> 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 Jordan, get up, man. There's work to be done. Uh, what am I doing here? I was mid drink, almost died. Why? Why? I didn't mean to, I swear to God. Not a can come nothing no hey guys i'm throwing a grenade or hey guys nade in the water anything <laughs> brother you were so close to me i figured you were still running so close to you i'm fighting off the hordes of the undead chasing us <laughs> ow zach <laughs> huh. did you die to my orbital strike Hey man, great comms, great comms. There's a giant red laser in the sky. It, it wasn't where I was. Lazy saw it, he moved. Look at that trigger discipline, Lazy. By the way, you notice how you ran in front of me and I stopped shooting? Okay, okay, okay. okay. He's on fire! He's on fire! <laughs>
<laughs> he was on fire and just fell over. <laughs> Damn it, so close, Jordan. Ready to liberate. Ambush. <laughs> yeah, you get there was an ambush, all right, Lizzie. They got up on you really quick, man. <laughs> Why did I get shot? What do you mean? Please, you're on two team kills this game. Jordan's on one. I'm a clean boy. I'm on zero. <laughs> okay. Lazy's on. <laughs> Lazy's on three. <laughs> My POV of that was so, so good. I go, I'm a clean boy. <laughs> Let me get back in there. <laughs> it's so zoomed out. I can't click anywhere either. <laughs> well, now you got out again. Let me check our galactic map here. Yep, we're in the right area. You just kicked me out of my hell pot. Bro, this is just like who's on first. We keep getting out, out and back up. Mm. I swear to God, if you exit again. <laughs> that was a good mission. Well, hurry up, I wanna hurry up. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> when, when Jordan redeploys, I always throw him in the most dangerous spot possible. <laughs> <laughs> I was aiming for I was aiming for Zach, I'm sorry. Dude. <laughs> it. It's gonna blow! <laughs> I chose the wrong time to jump that wall. What's up, bitch? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was my Leroy Jenkins moment, bro. <laughs> What's up, bitch? Dead. <laughs> Are you kidding? No! Oh no! Who was it? Me. Who was it? <laughs> lazy? Why? Why did I get that? I swung at Lazy. Lazy swung at me and somehow ended up hitting Jordan. <laughs> Jordan just died. Your body went inside the extra. <laughs> Not for me. It got shot the other end of the world. <laughs> Don't worry, Jordan. We're bringing your body home. No, you're not! 